today i am going to discuss about solar collector and how the solar collectors are classified solar collector collects the solar radiation and transfers the solar energy to fluid passing in contact solar collectors are made of copper aluminum steel and coated with black cake powder to have eye observation to have eye observation and low emission to have eye observation and low emission here the materials used are copper aluminum steel and coated with black cake powder to have eye observation and low emission low emission solar collectors are classified based upon the application flat plate collector and concentrating collector the flat plate collector the temperature the range in between that is 50 to 100 degree centigrade that is we can utilize the flat plate collector is 40 to 100 degree centigrade and the concentrating collector the temperature is in between 150 to 500 degree centigrade 150 to 500 degree centigrade with the help of the solar power we can utilize it for medium and then high power applications solar power plant we can utilize we can generate the power for medium and then high power applications and this is the construction of the flat plate collector there are two types of solar collectors are there one is for flat plate collector another one is for the concentrating collector in flat plate collector various the major component consist of transparent cover transparent cover observer plate fluid tubes this is the comes under series of tubes another name is nothing but the fluid tubes the insulation this part is represent for the thermal insulation or simply it is represent for insulation another one the casing or housing casing or housing these are the major the component used in the flat plate collector that is the transparent cover observer plate fluid tubes insulation or it is represent for the thermal insulation another one is the housing or casing flat plate collector which absorb solar radiation and the converted into heat energy actually the solar radiation available which absorbs and converted in the form of heat energy that heat energy we can converted into electrical energy or directly we can utilize it for the heating purpose the solar and this the panel we can used for two method one is used for the thermal application chemical application another one is for the electrical application the thermal application is used for water heating space heating space cooling and the electrical application the solar radiation directly we can convert it in the form of electricity and the chemical application used for the some of the para chemical industries but the maximum at present they are preferred for the electric application that is 30% they are preferred for the thermal application remaining 70% they are preferred for the electric applications here the one or more the transparent glass this is represent for the glass cover one or more the cover is used to avoid upward heat losses for the collector surface solar radiation passes through the transparent glass in this the glass the passes through this solar radiation is observed the transparent glass cover the plate is blackened in order to observe maximum amount of sunlight maximum amount of sunlight whenever the solar radiation is available early morning is started around 8 o'clock to 8:30 am up to the 10 am the color the pv panel is comes for fully blackened color fully black coated color that means the power generation is maximum power generation is maximum again the slightly 2 to 4 o'clock again it is reduced and we can generate the power with the help of the solar up to the 5 or 5:30 pm on an average per day we are generating the power with the help of the solar 4 to 6 hours but few of the places in the open atmospheric area if few of the days the radiation is maximum at that time we can generate it up to 6 to 8 hours also 6 to 8 hours here only in the solar power generation only one drawback we can't able to generate the power during night time and rainy days as well as for the 
cloudy days rainy days as well as for the cloudy days this solar power generation it is not polluted to the environment that means it is not released for the carbon dioxide nitrous oxide sulfuric acid and it is not affected for the radioactive substances and these the flat plate collector gives a temperature range in between 50 to 100 degree centigrade 50 to 100 degree 100 degree centigrade this the 50 degree centigrade this the 50 degree centigrade is used in the winter time 50 degree centigrade is used in the winter time and 100 degree centigrade is utilized in the summer time is utilized in the summer time it is in the flat plate collector it generates the temperature 50 degree centigrade is observed in the winter and 100 degree centigrade in the time of summer on an average the overall efficiency in the flat plate collector is 30 to 50 percentage 30 to 50 percentage here you can observe in this diagram the glass coated cover the layer is concentrated for the one or two layer based upon the application this is the gas covered observe the solar radiation which converts in the form of insulation due to the series of tube or due to the flow of tubes here in this the circulating pump which heats the temperature which converts the temperature which converts the temperature that passes into the coating that is the fluid tube which are designed in integrated part of the flat plate which causes the fluid heated up the total flat plate collector and the fluid tubes are casing with thermally insulated to prevent the loss heat from the observer generally in the solar radiation falls on transparent cover the solar radiation falls on the transparent cover they allow reach the observer plate allow reach the observer plate and this radiation gets heated up it in turn heats and fluid flows through the tube and whenever observing this the collector panel is sent in the form of circulating pump here the water is available that water is heated up it send it to the that is the cold water inlet and the hot air is outlet the hot air is outlet due to this the steam we can drive the steam turbine due to the steam we can drive the steam turbine which converts the heat energy into electrical energy heat energy into electrical energy this is the one of the method the another one method directly we can convert it into electricity the output in the form of dc directly we can convert it in the form of electricity the output in the form of dc and the advantages of the flat plate collector the design of the flat plate collector is very simple the design of the flat plate collector is easy as well as for the simple and maintenance cost is very very less this is the flat plate collector just we can pour the water automatically it is clean only in that uh, open atmosphere we are placing in the open atmosphere some amount of the dust particle is placed on the photovoltaic panel just we can pour the water that is in rainy season no need to maintain at the time of construction initially well educated person well technical person is required we need to place the based upon the radiation based upon the radiation this the pv panel is not placed in the 90 degree deflection it tilted at an angle that is either 15 degree centigrade or 30 or 40 degree centigrade but the pv panel placed in the direction of east to west direction the sun rises in the east and sends it on the west the pv panel can be placed in the direction of east to west combination east to west combination and it has no moving part this is the major advantage in that the pv panel once we are fixed means we can generate the power but the previous they are used for the solar tracker actually on an average we can generate the per day four hours four hours in that the four hours if we are completely placed in the east direction or completely placed in the west direction we can generate the power only half of the day suppose we are placed in the east direction we can generate the power 8 to up to the 12 pm 8 8 30 am to 12 pm we can't be able to generate the power in night time suppose we are placed in the west direction we can generate the power 11 32 up to the 3 30 or 4 pm after that the solar radiation is minimized we can't be able to generate the power these are the drawbacks these are the drawbacks 
After that, so many researches are taken place. They are placed for the and small induction motor bottom of the solar tracker with microcontroller sensor. Based upon whenever the solar radiation is available, based on the it tracking that is rotating. Due to the rotating, the n number of the losses is taken place. More number of drawbacks. Again, the maintenance is required more. Due to the rotating, some of the times the lifetime is reduced and the efficiency is also minimized. But at present, we are using for MPPT controller. That is the maximum power point tracker. Maximum power point tracker. Suppose a solar radiation which observed, which converts, for example, we can take 80 to 100 volts. 80 to 100 volts. We can connect a number of the PV panel, series parallel combination. Series parallel combination. But maximum all the places they are connected to the PV panel in the combination of series connection. Now, here they can utilize either 2 PV panel or 8 PV panel based upon the rating capacity. Now, here, the, the each in this the panel we are getting for the 100 volt, but the single phase system for us 230 volt or 240 volt, 230 volt or 240 volt, 50 edge, the frequency is 50 edge. But we can't utilize these 100 volts, we can use the boost converter, that is MPPT based boost converter. This 100 volt we can boost with the help of boost converter, that is bug boost with the help of boost converter. This 100 volt we can boost into 230 or 240 volt with the help of boost converter without using transformer, without using transformer. Now just this 100 volt we can boost the 240 to 280 volt, but on an average again the losses is available. Finally we are getting for 230 or 240 volt. Here we are using for MPPT based boost controller. Again here the MPPT n number of technique is there, n number of algorithm that is perturb and observe method, neuro fuzzy system, hill climbing method, so on etc. But maximum they are preferred for the perturb and observe method that is PN duo algorithm. Or else they are utilized for the neuro fuzzy based algorithm. Neuro fuzzy based algorithm. Nowadays this the flat plate collector or parabolic collector they are used is MPPT based solar collector. They are not used for the solar tracking. Here the main advantage is it has no moving component. And application of the flat plate collector, where they are used for the flat plate collector. Actually, in this the flat plate collector, the temperature range in between 50 to 100 degrees centigrade. 50 to 100 degree centigrade. That is 50 degree centigrade in the winter and 100 degree centigrade in the summer. The application it is used for temperature range in between 40 to 100 degree centigrade or 50 to 100 degree centigrade. In between this temperature, wherever is required. We can use for the flat plate collector that is used for water heating, space heating, space cooling, and then drying. Space cooling and then drying. But generally, at present, we are using for the solar based water heating, solar based water heating. Just we are placed for the PV panel in this method. Like tubes are available. Like this is nothing but n number of the tubes. In this, the tube, the circulating the water, the water is heated up. That is, the water is started, the heating, the temperature is started early morning 8.15 to 8.20. Up to the 4 or 5 o'clock, afternoon the temperature is maximum. Afternoon the temperature is maximum. Again, the slightly is decreased and it is maintained 40 to 100 degree centigrade. The temperature is maintained for 40 to 100 degree centigrade. But afternoon 12 to 1 p.m., the temperature some of the time is varies from above 100 degree centigrade. Also. That is maximum 120 hours. 130 degree centigrade. But this, the temperature in this, the water is available up to the midnight 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock also. Some amount of the temperature is either 25, 26 degree centigrade or 30 degree centigrade. And these are how they are used for the space heating. That is nothing but the solar air heating. You can observe here in this, the solar, how they are used for the space heating and then the space cooling. And really it is used in the few of the application purpose, few of the application purpose. Here the temperature range is in between 50 to 100 degree centigrade. Now you can observe this the component. One is nothing but the inlet. First one is nothing but the inlet. Inlet in the sense the air it will be taken inside. It is the cold air is flowing inside the 
to use the outlet in the form of hot air the outlet in the form of hot air that is the first one is nothing but the in, inlet duct that is the air is entering inside the tube the air is entering inside the tube second one that is outlet duct outlet duct means that is air outs that is the cold air is in and hot air is coming out hot air is coming out and the third one is absorber tray third one is observer tray this is nothing for the observer plate the insulation medium is there this is for the observer plate and another one is nothing but the glazing the glazing the fourth one this is nothing but the transparent cover transparent cover in this the fluid tube observe the solar radiation is converted in the form of liquid converted in the form of liquid now the cold air is inside observe this temperature observe this radiation the coming out in the form of hot air this is used for the solar air heater and the sixth one that is nothing but the insulation medium the tubes is there is converted in the form of heat and another one the wooden cabinet that is nothing but the supporting stand supporting stand how it is used means in this the solar air heater consist of transparent plates is allowed to reach the observer plate and observer gets heated up that is the water is inlet the air is entering inside the tubes the outlet we are getting in the form of hot air the application used for the air heater is nothing but heat engines another one section of timber the space heating comfort building some of the hotel is available some of the pressure hotel is available and we are used for maintain some amount of temperature based upon the changing climate conditions we are using for the ac similarly we are using in this cold days the space heating for the comfort building and used for agriculture products such as plastics agriculture such as plastic advantages of the solar air heater heat air can be used directly for the space heating that is the cost is very very less and the efficiency is more and leakage of air is neglected that is the air the air it is entering and the outlet we are getting in the form of hot air this is used for the space heating space cooling and so on etc and the second one the first one we have we seen about the flat plate collector and the second one is concentrating collector that is the concentrating collector is used to heat the fluid the range up to the 500 degree centigrade the range up to the 500 degree centigrade that is the starting in between we can utilize for 150 to 150 to 500 degree centigrade these collectors are designed to work directly sun radiation it is in this used for the line collector or focus collector just we can focusing in this the point reflected back in this the concentrating collector we can generate the bulk amount of power a huge amount of power because here the temperature is maintained from 150 to 500 degree centigrade it is used for medium as well as for the high power applications medium as well as for high power applications again here the flat plate collectors are classified flat plate collector with plane reflectors compound parabolic concentrating collector cylinder parabolic collector collector with fixed circular concentrator and moving receivers fernelless concentrating collector parabolic disc collector parabolic disc collector out of these maximum they are preferred for the flat plate collector with plane reflector another one compound parabolic collector or parabolic disc collector here the temperature range is 150 to 500 degree centigrade suppose you can go for the flat plate collector with the plane reflector here the construction is simple the concentration ratio the temperature ranging in between 20 to 30 degree centigrade the temperature range in between 20 to 30 degree centigrade and the next one compound the parabolic concentrating collector here the temperature ranges up to we can utilized for the 150 degree centigrade utilized for 150 degree centigrade this consists of two parabolas two parabolas but the ranges in between 150 degree centigrade and the third one cylindrical parabolic collectors cylindrical parabolic collectors this is 
ratio between 10 to 80 and the temperature range between 150 to 400 degree centigrade 150 to 400 or else we can use for the 500 degree centigrade also 150 to 400 degree centigrade it concentrates has to rotate in order to track the sun that is concentrating parabolic collector which observes in the center point that is represent for the vertex from all the directions observed in a central single point after that we can utilize it to generate the power here we can generate the more amount of power because only single the focus point that is the range is 150 to 400 degree centigrade and the next one fourth one collector with fixed circular concentrator and moving receivers that is the fixed concentrator and moving receiver is an array of long narrow cylindrical shape it is best suited for 150 to 400 degree centigrade it is 150 to 400 degree centigrade you can utilize it for 150 to 500 degree centigrade 150 to 500 degree centigrade and next one fernsel less concentrating collector fernsel less concentrating collector the solar radiation is observed in the top of the lens and at the bottom it consists of the container receiver pipe or else it is represent for the line focusing here also the temperature the range in between 150 to 400 degree centigrade and the parabolic disc collector parabolic disc collector or parabolic disc collector or parabolic disc collector this the concentrating ratio 100 to 1000 100 to 1000 here the temperature in terms of 2000 degree centigrade in this the parabolic disc collector the temperature the maximum range is 2000 degree centigrade that is it is the beam radiation reflected directly that is independent to the mirror called heli heliostats heliostats this is used for industrial applications that is parabolic disc collector is used for the industrial application but maximum then this with the help of the concentrating collector we can use to generate the power that the power we can utilize to pump the water that you can use for the pump the borewell matter this is the line focusing or point focusing collector it focus all the direction the reflected back in the particular the point you can utilize that is p max equal to v max into i max that is in the single phase power p max equal to v max into i max v max into i max that is the power is a product of voltage and current with respect to the power factor power factor is nothing but the cosine of angle between voltage and current in single phase system that is p equal to v i cos pi p equal to v i cos pi the cos pi is nothing but the unity power factor the power is a product of voltage and current voltage and current that is we want to find out the maximum power with the help of the maximum power point tracker that is v max into i max we are assuming the unity power factor that is theoretically is unity power factor but the practically it is available 0 0.92 0 0.99 power factor 0 0.99 power factor and what are the advantages of uh, merits of concentrating collector over flat plate collector it can be used for electric power generation but is the concentrating collector the range is 150 to 400 or 500 degree centigrade 150 to 400 degree centigrade due to that we can directly use it for the electric power generation but the flat plate collector the temperature the range is 50 to 100 degree centigrade that is used for low power generation but the concentrating collector is used for medium as well as for the high power applications and the efficiency is more in concentrating collector comparing to the flat plate collector because of attaining high temperature the heating store cost of less that is in the flat plate collector they are observing the radiation the temperature is less that is 50 to 100 degrees centigrade but in the concentrating collector the observing range is 150 to 400 degree centigrade and disadvantages of the concentrating collector over flat plate collector here the drawbacks are the initial cost is more and additional optical losses additional optical losses such as reflection loss and the interpretation loss so on etc and the additional material is required for maintenance again as to the weather oxidation or dirt form or dirt 
formula and it requires cost oriented system tracking the sun tracking the sun it is here maximum they are used for the concentrating collector that is in this the concentrating collector temperature range is in between to 150 to 500 degree centigrade generally for pumping the bore well motor at present with the help of the solar motor we can pump the water we can pump the water in the daytime that is the battery backup is available it stores the energy and we can pump the motor that is the motor design is different the motor design is different and actually the concentrating collector again it is represented the simply two method one is for line focusing collector okay so simply it is classified for two method one is for the line focusing collector and the second one is point focusing collector point focusing collector the line focusing collector is represent for parabolic collector or cross section from this is nothing but this is the line focusing collector it is only observe the solar radiation whenever observed in the photovoltaic panel is reflected back is reflected back there is nothing but the line focusing collector we can observe the solar radiation in a single particular point that is the receiver tube is located along the axis of collector along the axis of collector and the solar energy focused on the receiver tube heated the range is 150 to 400 or 150 to 500 degree centigrade 500 degree means again some amount of loss is there 30 to 40 degree centigrade but we can utilize it for 4 380 to 400 degree centigrade and another one the pipe point focusing collector point focusing collector this is the point focusing collector is similar to the collector with fixed circular concentration and moving receivers the observer locates at the focus and the material is used for copper alloy with block from selective coating block from selective coating whenever the pv panel the radiation is observed the color is changed that is the photovoltaic panel color is changed at the time we can identify the power generation is started the power generation is started the receiver observes a working fluid and this the converted in the form of heat energy that drives the turbine which converts steam energy into mechanical energy steam energy into mechanical energy further the alternator or ac generator which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy mechanical energy into electrical energy there are two types of collectors are there flat plate collector another one is for the concentrating collector but in this the concentrating collector again it is classified for various types flat plate collector with plane reflector compound parabolic concentrating collector cylindrical parabolic collector collector with fixed circular concentration and moving receiver fernesel lens concentrating collector parabolic disc collector here the temperature range is 150 to 400 degree centigrade 150 to 400 degree centigrade for the maximum actual the temperature is maintained from 500 degree centigrade 500 degree centigrade for high power applications and medium power applications used for the concentrating collector for low temperature is required means they will be go for the flat plate collector flat plate collector these are the today class we are discussed about what is solar collector in this solar collector how it is classified how it is classified it is classified for two method one is for the flat plate collector another one is for the parabolic collector another one is for the parabolic collector and the simply it is represented that is line focusing or else the point focusing again in this the concentrating collector based upon the application it is classified for various types out of this maximum they will be preferred for flat plate collector with plane reflector that is all it should be observed in the single point you can generate the power you can generate the power but this is used for two method one is nothing but used for thermal application electrical application as well as for the chemical application but the 70% they are used for the electrical application and thermal application used for the 30% that is space heating space cooling space dryer so on 
etc but here in this the pv panel the materials are classified for generally three types monocrystalline polycrystalline another one is for the amorphous but here the pv panel the material used is polycrystalline in india maximum all the places the material used is polycrystalline because here the temperature is more the temperature is more up to any dose 